Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the 37th question from CBSE class 10, 2023-24. Additional practice questions for mathematics standard with subject code 041. Section E, which is case study based questions, where each question is of 4 marks. Now, this question is from the coordinate geometry chapter. In the game of archery, a bow is used to shoot arrows at a target board. The player stands far away from the board and aims the arrow so that it hits the board. One such board, which is divided into four concentric circular sections, is drawn on the coordinate grid as shown. Each section carries different points as shown in the figure. If the arrow lands on the boundary, the inner section points are awarded. First sub-question is, after shooting two arrows, Rohan scored 25 points. Write one set of coordinates for each arrow that landed on the target. So let us try to understand the question first. This is a game of archery where a player has to shoot arrows on this concentric board. Now that board is divided into four sections. So you can see there are different colors assigned to the different sections. If the player shoots an arrow in the innermost section which is white, he scores 30 points. If the arrow hits this region, then he scores 20. And if the arrow is being shot in this region, it is 10 points. And the outermost section will give him 5 points. Now, if the arrow exactly hits the boundary, that is this way, then the player will be awarded the points belonging to the inner section. That is, he will be assigned in this case 10 points, not 5. Likewise, Rohan has shot 2 arrows as we can see and the total score he got was 25 points. We have to find out what are the coordinates of the two arrows he has shot on this circular board. Now to find out the coordinates, they have given us the x and the y axis. And since his score is 25, then we can divide the 25 into two points. That is when his first arrow was shot, maybe he scored 20 points. And when he shot the second arrow, he scored 5 points. So 20 plus 5 gives us 25 and here also we can see the division of the points is 20 and 5. There is no other combination which will give us 25 except for 20 points and 5 points. So I am assuming that the first arrow hit the 20 points and it is in this region. So you can choose any point in this region which will give you 20 points. So choose an easier coordinate to name. So I am going to take a region which is exactly in between 1 and 2. So he shot the arrow over here and it is on the x axis. So I am going to take the point as 1.5 since it is exactly in between 1 and 2. And since it is on the x axis, the x coordinate is 1.5 whereas the y coordinate becomes 0. So let me write over here. So coordinate of arrow 1 is 1.5 comma 0. So this has given him a score of 20 points. Remember, you can choose any point in this area. This is just one of the coordinates which is possible. Now let us concentrate on the second arrow. Since it gave him a point of 5, we are going to concentrate on the outermost section. Again, choose a very easy coordinate. I am going to choose it on the y-axis now. Probably his arrow shot over here, giving him 5 points. So exactly in between 3 and 4 my point lies, so I will take it as 3.5. And since it is on the y axis, the coordinates are going to be 0, 3.5. So let me write here coordinate of arrow 2. So coordinate of arrow 2 is 0, 3.5. The x coordinate is 0 because the arrow is on the y axis. So 0, 3.5. Let us move on to the second sub question. If one player's arrow lands on 2, 2.5, how many points will be awarded to the player? Show your work and this is for one mark. Now, one player's arrows lands on 2, 2.5. That means the x value is 2 and the y value is 2.5. So it is somewhere around here. Let me mark it. So I have drawn a straight line from point 2 on the x axis going this way. And I have drawn a horizontal line going from 2.5 this way. They meet at this point, as we can clearly see that it falls in the fourth section, which will assign him 5 points. Still, we need to show our work, as it is mentioned. Let us try to prove this now. 
So for this I am going to make use of the distance between the origin and this point. So let me draw over here. So this is the distance we need to find out between the origin and the point 2 comma 2.5. Now here let me draw a line this way and a line this way. Now I have formed a right angled triangle. Now the x distance is being given as 2. So let us take it as 2 and the y distance is being given as 2.5 that is the height. So by using the Pythagoras theorem I can find out what is the length of this line. So I am going to consider this distance as x and write here x square because it is acting as the hypotenuse is equal to 2 square that is the x coordinate plus 2.5 square that is the height. So x square plus y square is equal to hypotenuse square. So here x will be equal to square root of 2 square is 4 plus 2.5 square is going to be 6.25. So this will give us a value of square root adding 4 and 6.25 will get it as 10.25. So this is the value of x. Now square root of 10.25 to find out where it exactly lies we can take it this way. Now we have square root of 9 that is equal to 3 and square root of 16 is equal to 4. Now square root of 10.25 lies between square root of 9 and square root of 16. So this should be in between 3 and 4. And since 10.25 is near to 9, we can assume that it is somewhere around 3.1 or 3.2. This is just an assumption. Now 3.2 is a value which lies in the region between 3 and 4 over here and 3 and 4 over here. That is the section. So we can say that 3.2 lies somewhere here in this section. And since it is in this fourth section, we can say that the player has scored 5 points. So let me write over here. Since square root of 10.25 lies in the outermost section of the concentric circular board, the player is given 5 points. Now let us move on to the third sub question. One of Rohan's arrows landed on the coordinate 1.2, 1.6. He wants his second arrow to land on the line joining the origin and the first arrow such that he gets 10 points for it. Find one possible pair of coordinates of the second arrow's landing mark. Show your work. Now let us try to understand the question first. Rohan shot an arrow and it landed on 1.2, 1.6. So let us just try to mark the point approximately where it could be. 1.2 is on the x-axis so we can assume it is over here. And 1.6 will be if we consider this as 1.5 that is exactly between 1 and 2. 1.6 will be a little bit near to the 2 coordinate. So on the y-axis we have marked 1.6. So approximately the point should be somewhere around here. So it should be on the boundary. But again here we are going to make use of the Pythagoras theorem. That is we are going to find out the distance of this point from the origin. So let me draw a right angle triangle over here. So here the x distance is 1.2 as it is given the question and the y distance is 1.6. So we need to find out what is the length of this line. So we will consider this as x again. So x square is equal to, that is using Pythagoras theorem, 1.2 square plus 1.6 square. So 1.2 square is going to give us 1.44 plus 1.6 is going to give us 2.56 and adding these two we will get a value of 4. So x square is 4, so x is equal to square root of 4 which is nothing but equal to 2. That means the length of this line is going to be 2. So let us write here 2. And I am going to erase these two lines because we do not need it anymore. Now here I have considered only this line and I have labeled them as O and P. O is the origin so its coordinates are going to be 0 comma 0. And P was the coordinate given 1.2 comma 1.6 I have written over here. Now once we get the length of this line, the second part of it says that Rohan wants his second arrow to land on the line joining the origin and the first arrow such that he gets 10 points for it. So Rohan is going to shoot another arrow in such a way that he gets 10 points for it. 
so he can get 10 points when he shoots in this region and he should shoot it in such a way that it should lie along the line of op so we can assume that i'm going to just extend it a little bit like this and i am going to assume that he shoots exactly at the boundary of this region because in the question it was given that if the player hits on the boundary he is going to be assigned the marks of the section or the region within the boundary so if he shoots here he is going to get 10 points and we do not know the coordinates of this line x comma y so we will consider this as x comma y now to know the distance between point p and let us consider this as point a we can see that it is between 2 and 3 so the distance between 2 and 3 is going to be 1 so now from o to p the distance is 2 and from p to a the distance is 1 now let me draw this line separately so it is the same line opa and rohan has shot his arrow at point a and we need to find out the coordinates x comma y by looking at this you might have guessed that we should use the section formula to get the value of x comma y let me write the section formula over here so this is how the section formula is given p x comma y that is the point which divides the line into two parts so in this case it is going to be p 1.2 comma 1.6 equal to m1 and m2 are the ratios in which the line has been cut So in this case we can see it is 2 and 1. So I'm going to take m1 as 2 and I'm going to take m2 as 1. And in this formula I'm going to consider x1 comma y1 as 0 comma 0 and x2 comma y2 as x comma y. So let me substitute the values over here. So here p x and y value we have 1.2 comma 1.6. M1 is taken as 2. X2 as we have taken as x. written over here so 2 times x plus m2 is 1 and x1 is taken as 0 divided by m1 is 2 and m2 is 1 so 2 plus 1 similarly for the y coordinates we write m1 is 2 y2 is y plus m2 is 1 and y1 is 0 so 2 times y plus 1 times 0 divided by 2 plus 1 let us further solve this So 1.2 comma 1.6 is equal to 2x plus 0 divided by 3 comma 2y plus 0 divided by 3. Now we are going to equate the x coordinate with the x coordinate and y coordinate with the y coordinate. So we are going to write here 1.2 is equal to 2x divided by 3, and we are going to write 1.6 is equal to 2y divided by So let us solve this further. Three multiplies with one point two, and it is going to give us three point six is equal to two x. So solving for x, we are going to get x is equal to three point six divided by two, which is going to give us a value of one point eight for the x. And for the y, we are going to again do the same thing. Multiply three with one point six, we will get it as four point eight is equal to two y. So solving for y equals 4.8 divided by 2, which is going to give us y equal to 2.4. So the coordinate where Rohan has to shoot his second arrow is 1.8 comma 2.4. Let me write here the values of the coordinates of the second arrow's landing mark is 1.8 comma 2.4. Now let us look at the OR question. An arrow landed on the boundary and is worth twenty points. The coordinates of the landing mark were of the form m comma minus m. Find all such coordinates and show your steps. Now the arrow landed on the boundary and it is worth twenty points. That means it has to land on this circle, because landing on this boundary only gives you twenty points. And they have given the coordinates of the arrow as well. It is m comma minus m. So let me assume that the point hits somewhere around here. So the distance of this point with respect to the origin is going to be two units, because we are going to consider the origin as the center of the circle, and coming to this point, it is two units. That is from zero to minus two or zero to two. So we got the length of this line, which is two, and the coordinates of this point is given as m comma minus m. So I'm going to draw the x coordinate over here. 
and the length of this x coordinate is m and the y coordinate of this point is minus m. So let me write here minus m. Now again using Pythagoras theorem, remember you can use the distance formula as well for this one that is finding the distance between the origin and this point. Here I am using the Pythagoras theorem that is another way of solving these kind of examples. So here 2 is acting as a hypotenuse. So let me write over here 2 square that is hypotenuse square is equal to m square plus minus m square. Now 2 square is 4 is equal to m square plus square of a minus term. So we get it as positive m square. Now solving this further 4 is equal to m square plus m square gives us 2 m square and m square is equal to 4 divided by 2. So m square is equal to 2 or m is equal to sending the square on the other side we get plus or minus square root of 2. So we have two values of m over here now. So m is equal to plus square root of 2 or m is equal to minus square root of 2. Now if we look at the coordinates given for the point it is m comma minus m. So here when m is positive then minus m is going to be minus square root of 2 and when m is minus square root of 2 we have minus m is equal to minus of minus square root of 2 which gives us plus square root of 2. So we form two coordinates here that is when x is root 2 y is minus root 2 and when x is minus root 2 we get y coordinate as plus root 2. So we can write here square root of 2 comma minus square root of 2 that is x and y coordinate or we can get minus square root of 2 comma positive square root of 2. So these two coordinates are possible for the arrow. I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video. If you know any other way of solving this example do comment below and if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.